Welcome guys to Igor in Russia and today we are expanding our trip across Finland searching for the Russian heritage of Finland. Today we are at the Emperor's Fishing Lodge here in Kotka Lang in Koski. The history is interesting, I want you to hear about it, come along with me. Please remember to subscribe, click that like button, share the video and also hit that notification bell. This way you'll know when I release the new video. So what are you waiting for? Let's go! It is the only imperial building outside the Russian borders which is still standing. All right, Imperial Fishing Lodge over there. All right. Well, this is a tourist site. And you could come here throughout the week with some exceptions. And here's the grand entrance to the fish, uh, Imperial Emperor's Fishing Lodge. Oh, wow. Check this out. The staff of the museum was kind enough to actually offer me a guide, a tour. We're gonna film a little bit of that. But before that, some background story for you guys. So, so the Imperial Fishing Lodge that you see in the background uh, is a summer, summer residence built for the Emperor Alexander III of Russia in the 1880s. It serves now as a, as a museum normally is uh, anything that uh, Tsar built is uh, is grandiose and uh, you know imperial and uh, for imperial fishing lodge fishing hut it's a uh, it's quite modest actually well they say it's a style of a simplified grace as an heir to the throne well as a Cesarevich Alexander III visited this place in 1880 Alexander III was a uh, quite a outdoorsman he was a salesman he loved to sail he actually loved the beautiful surrounding of this place called Langinkoski. You can feel the power of the river. And in uh, 1887, he was already crowned as the Tsar of Russia. He came back with the Empress Maria Fyodorovna, then called Dagmar, as a princess of uh, Denmark. He came back to Langinkoski to fish because he, he wanted to go uh, salmon fishing. After the visit of 1887, he actually gave an order to have him build a fishing lodge so he could come back again and again. When he came, first came in 1880, this is what he saw. And this is what actually amazed him. But uh, enough of me talking. Let's go inside the Emperor's Fishing Lodge. Let's go. Oh wow guys. This is super awesome. I'm actually standing in well basically Emperor's home. Alexander III and his wife, Maria Fyodorovna, the Princess of Denmark. We actually were looking at the personal items of the Tsar. This is the dressing room of the Empress. Well, this it's been a little bit modified because you can see Nikolai II also there. 
and there. And that was actually given on the 100th, 100th birthday of this hut by the Finnish Orthodox Church, Nicholas II's icon. So all of these covers are all original and all produced in Finland, in Kotka, Tampere, etc. This is obviously the, the kitchen, the kitchen of the, of the hut. So here's the, uh, the study, the study of the emperor and the imperial toilet. So these beds and some furniture that you can see here, especially those uh, metal metal beds, they were transferred here in 1916 uh, because uh, during the First World War, Nikolai II uh, transferred this fishing hut into a hospital. He gave this to a Russian Red Cross. There were 20 soldiers at the time being patched up. For a couple of summers, this, uh, this operated as the uh, Red Cross hospital. Here you can see those uh, metal beds once again from the First World War. Uh, here's the room for the uh, for his entourage. The location we're at right now is totally unique because it is the only imperial building outside the Russian borders which is still standing. It's here in Langinkoski, Kotka, Finland. So here's the bedroom of the emperor and the empress. Hmm, they slept separately? Okay. Most of the stuff is from the uh, late 19th century. A few exceptions, for example, these uh, terrace uh, tables, for example, are from the 1916 when there was uh, Russian soldiers being treated in this hospital. We got some friends coming up. Yo! What up? Hey, ka. This is... So this is an old dock. We're searching for a chapel built by the monks of Vala Monastery. And here it is. So this is a, a small Orthodox chapel or in Russian, Chisonia. And this is the oldest building here in Langinkoski. It was built in early 1800s by the monks of Valam Monastery. Uh, the chapel was later restored by the imperial family. And this here is a fishing hut which is closed. Fishing hut for the fishermen. And this museum is nice because basically you can walk around just as you, uh, as you wish. Food reserves. All right, I gotta show you one more thing. The rock of the emperor. Mama, come. All right, here are some trenches. Whoa. So when the fishing hut was still being built, the Tsar was looking for a good place to fish, so he found this rock and this became his fishing rock. And we're gonna climb to it. So 
so thanks a lot for joining it's been an awesome trip here to Langinkoski to Emperor's Hut if you like the video I appreciate if you uh, subscribe to my channel and if you want to share the video it's all good so see you guys next time when I release a new episode of Igor in Russia Finland edition let's go